This video was sponsored by Storyblocks, a website which provides a huge collection of images, video, audio, and effects for film and video makers. The library it provides is extremely useful for content creators. So if you're into this field and are interested in a 7 day free trial, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out more. The House of Windsor may not have the full authority of church splitting kings of old, but without a doubt, the royal family has remained the symbolic face of the United Kingdom, and the commonwealth that comes with it. And since the face of the UK has been the House of Windsor, they have become so stereotypically associated with Britishness, like tea, or complaining about the weather. But through all the royal weddings and American obsession over pointless tabloid factoids, there is something that Anglophilic journalists never have even considered. The fact that the British royal family, the House of Windsor, is actually pretty German. It isn't that dramatic, so don't get your pitchforks out. The House of Windsor isn't a fraud. It's not a conspiracy. Anybody who has studied medieval history for five minutes would know that it's always been very common in Europe for the monarchs of kingdoms to be foreigners to their own subjects. As one example, the House of Habsburg was a German house that frequently ruled over the Holy Roman Empire, but that didn't stop them from having rule in Spain, parts of Italy. The trading of sons and daughters by houses across Europe remained a vital part of forming alliances among kingdoms. Germany was basically a primordial soup, filled with hundreds of duchies and houses, and because there were so many duchies, they could easily be married off to other larger kingdoms, which meant throughout all of Europe, royal houses were littered with Germans. So how does the House of Windsor relate to all of this? How did this German house come to rule over the UK? Our story begins in the early 18th century. You don't really need to know anything before this. To sum it all up, before then, the House of Stuart was dead. They could not produce any legitimate heirs anymore. Catholics are bad. Anybody who was married to a Catholic is also disqualified. This meant several people with far greater legitimacy to the throne were no longer qualified because they were Catholic. So through the complication of family trees, that left only one line. The granddaughter of James VI, Sophia of Hanover, was chosen as the start of this new line. She died before becoming queen, but that meant her son, George Ludwig, was now the heir to the crown, which led to George I in 1714. The British saw him as far too German. At the beginning of his reign, he could barely even speak English. He wasn't Catholic though, so that's all that mattered. So that's the story then. The House of Hanover became the House of Windsor. Well, no. Queen Victoria was a member of the House of Hanover. Queen Elizabeth II is not from the same house as Victoria. Elizabeth is technically from the house of Queen Victoria's husband, Albert, the Prince Consort. Albert was a German, from one of those small duchies, Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha. His house took the name of his home, the House of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha. He, just like George I, was originally disliked because he was a foreigner, but he picked up the language fast. He took his rule to heart, attempting to help class divide in the new era of industrialization. Because Victoria was a woman, the Hanover crown ended when she ascended to the throne. Through Albert, future monarchs would be from his house. Albert died of illness in Windsor Castle. After Victoria's death, the two succeeding kings, Edward and George, were both from the saxburg coburg house. That was until World War I. Anti-German sentiment has always existed, but with the outbreak of the Great War, a war that was against George V's cousin, Wilhelm II, German legacies had to be swept under the rug. So George V decided to rename the British branch of the German house. He renamed the House of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha to the House of Windsor, named after Windsor Castle. Now this video isn't saying the Windsors are German. Any German influence hasn't existed for a century. However, I find it interesting how interconnected the monarchies of Europe truly are. This is Cody of Knowledge Hub.
This video was sponsored by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is incredibly useful. As a content creator, finding new elements to include into videos can sometimes really be a challenge. But after discovering the site, I have access to premium creative content at an affordable price. I recently just used it for my newest video on my other channel. If you subscribe to Storyblocks, you gain unlimited access to a library of 300,000 photos, illustrations, vectors, and other design elements. You can download anything on the site and use it forever. Well, if you are curious about trying out this incredibly useful content library, all you have to do is click in the link below to gain access to a 7-day free trial. Access to the library so you can try out the service for yourself. I highly recommend it. This is Cody of Knowledge Hub.